The Age of War Chapter 4 has finally released, and with it comes, of course, a new battle pass. Today we'll be looking at everything included and seeing if this is good value, especially for a first time buyer. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Tier 1, the Zingaran Mercenary Armour. Tier 2, Emblem Icon, Zingaran. Tier 3, Free Track, a Zingaran Mercenary Weapon Rack. Tier 4, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 5, a Zingaran Mercenary Camp Carpet. Tier 6, a Zingaran Mercenary Rapier. Tier 7, a Zingaran Mercenary Camp Torch. Tier 8, Free Track, 3 Smelted Iron Siege Boulders. Tier 9, a Zingaran Captain's Bed. Tier 10, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 11, Wall Paint, Zingaran. Tier 12, a Zingaran Soldier's Tent. Tier 13, the Zingaran Camp Foundation. Tier 14, the Emblem Background for Zingaran. Tier 15, the Zingaran Camp Wall. Tier 16, 120 Chrom Coins. Tier 17, Free Track, a Remembrance Tapestry. Tier 18, a Zingaran Mercenary Storage Chest. Tier 19, a Zingaran Mercenary Horse Saddle. Tier 20, Free Track, a Token of Remembrance. Tier 21, a Zingaran Mercenary Shield that displays the Clan Emblem. Tier 22, 120 Chrom Coins. Tier 23, Floor Paint, Evil Eye. Tier 24, a Zingaran Mercenary Greatsword. Tier 25, a Zingaran Soldier's Bedroll. Tier 26, Free Track, 3 Salvage Star Metal Shells. Tier 27, a Zingaran Emblem Banner. Tier 28, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 29, a Zingaran Round Carpet. Tier 30, a Zingaran Camp Curved Wall. Tier 31, Emblem Icon, Zingaran Mercenary Captain. Tier 32, Weapon Emote, Rapier Flourish. Tier 33, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 34, Free Track, a Remembrance Tapestry. Tier 35, a Zingaran Mercenary Campfire. Tier 36, a Zingaran Mercenary Camp Table. Tier 37, Free Track, a Token of Remembrance. Tier 38, a Zingaran Mercenary Spear. Tier 39, 120 Chrom Coins. Tier 40, a Zingaran Mercenary Captain's Tent. Tier 41, Wall Paint, Mercenary Camp. Tier 42, a woodcutting block. Tier 43, free track, three burning siege boulders. Tier 44, the Zingaran Captain's Command Table. Tier 45, the Zingaran Camp Inverted Curved Wall. Tier 46, 120 Chrom Coins. Tier 47, the Theatrical Emote. Tier 48, the Zingaran Camp Gateframe. Tier 49, the Zingaran Guard Dog. Tier 50, Floor Paint Compass Rose. Tier 51, the Zingaran Hanging Emblem Banner. Tier 52, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 53, Free Track Remembrance Tapestry. Tier 54, the Zingaran Mercenary War Axe. Tier 55, the Zingaran Mercenary Camp Bench. Tier 56, Emblem Background, Zingaran Mercenary Captain. Tier 57, the Zingaran Camp Gate Door. Tier 58, 120 Chrome Coins. Tier 59, Free Track, a Token of Remembrance. And finally, at Tier 60, the Zingaran Mercenary Captain Armour. So all in all, how does the Battle Pass stack up? Well I don't think I've ever said Zingaran so many times in such a short period, but the style and design of this Battle Pass is very tight. The heavy focus on Zingara might be a hint for what we'll see in the future, or it could just be what they decided to bring in for this chapter, seeing as Zingara is pretty unexplored in the game's scope. In terms of the contents, you do of course get your 1200 Chrom Coins back if you purchase the pass, and whilst there are only two armour sets in this chapter's offering as opposed to the usual three, it seems the third has been replaced by the building pieces. I'm a little mixed on building pieces in the battle pass. It does make it more desirable, but then it pretty much locks people who didn't play this update out of being able to get them, unless they're resold in the bazaar in the future, similar to how they're now repackaging the arcane building pieces this update. 
Those new building pieces are a little spread out, but with the new progression system, it might end up being easier and faster to complete the pass, so the wait to get the full set might not take as long as it initially seems. This pass does have a little bit of everything. Stuff for builders, decorators, role players, PvE players, etc. The design of all these items seems quite cohesive and distinct, and though I have seen some people say they don't feel like this sort of conquistador style of design belongs in Conan, I personally don't mind it. I suppose the ultimate question is, is this battle pass worth it? As always, I try and review every battle pass from the point of view of a first time buyer. The answer for this pass will depend on what sort of player you are, but if you're a builder, decorator, role player, or you like to create detailed and elegant bases and characters in PvE, I think this pass is pretty good. It will undoubtedly be polarising for some because of that laser focus on Zingara, that is basically the only culture represented here, but if you like the aesthetic then I think there's a lot to enjoy in this pass. Overall for me personally, I like this battle pass a lot, it's a sort of breath of fresh air after such a heavy focus on Aesir, Veneer and Stygian themes. Again, it will depend very heavily on your own tastes, but I think what's in this pass is pretty good, and it's worth your 1200 crop coins. And there we have it, my review of the new Age of War Chapter 4 Battle Pass. Thanks for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I'll be diving into the Battle Pass progression rework next time to see how that performs, and if it's better than the previous system. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.